Oh, he's got himself into such uh, a, more than a spot of trouble, hasn't he, over the weekend. Ashish Nandi, well-known sociologist and now the most controversial person perhaps in the country, joins me from Delhi. Sanjay Roy, organizer of the Jaipur Literary Festival from Jaipur. Sudin the Bhadoria of the Bahujan Samaj Party from Delhi. Dr. Lata Priya Kumar, member of the National Commission for Scheduled Castes, is joining us from Chennai. And Kancha Elaya is a well-known Dalit activist an academic, he joins us from Jaipur as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Ashish Nandi, you don't seem to be in any mood to apologize, are you? You're not taking back your comments, you're explaining your No, I did apologize because I, I'm really unhappy. Mm -hmm. I'm unhappy that uh, I have heard the sentiments of so many, but they have been fed the news in a particular way. But have you have you been they, forced to have, have you been forced to I, retract? Tell me, are you forced to retract? Are you doing it openly from the bottom of your heart, only to avoid yourself some trouble? No, no, not that all. That you know, that it's true that uh, uh, many people have been hurt and the sentiments have been hurt, and uh, I do feel that it is it may not be my fault, but they have been hurt, and I'm sorry for that. Do you, do you believe you're factually incorrect? I mean, uh, inadvertent. With, with all respect, Ashish Nandi. And I, I have mean, great uh, regard for I you. I was not, not, not making any fa no, no, I'm not, not making a factual uh, comment at all at, there. But even there, I would say that, you know, in, uh, I would say on the whole, I may be proved right if you take into account everyday small no, daily no, no. I, I'm, uh, no, no, cases no, no. of I'm, corruption, corruption, which, uh, you know, people paying no, no. extra to get into a... Th why uh, why, why do you link... Train, people no, 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 no. Why do you link corruption and caste? Why do you link corruption and caste? Corruption perpetuated by any caste because, is wrong uh, and there is no justification for it. You seem to offer an alibi for people to be corrupt. Yes, I do. Why? I do. I, Why? I do because I think people who are at the margin of desperation, people who are at the margin of desperation no. have, <coughs> have, should have more lenience, uh, leniency from, from both the state no, no. That's and a, the constitution and the law. That's a, that's a, you, you, that. wait, Ashish no, Nandi, Ashish Nandi, I'm going to, to Ashish Nandi, I'm going to open this up for debate in a minute. But I think that, you know, you are, with, with respect, you're tying yourself up in knots because you, you, you say you do believe that uh, zero corruption society in India will be a despotic society. In other words, you are trying to say that corruption is necessary for a just and equitable society. No, I'm not saying, no. Uh, no, corruption is not necessary, but trying to bring corruption down to zero is a prescription for despotism because there is only one zero corruption society to the best of my knowledge in this world and that is Singapore. What if I prove here on News R tonight hmm. that you are contradicting yourself? Hmm. No, I am not contradicting myself. Then I'd like, the contrary, to, I'd like I'd to quote Ashish Nandi to Ashish context, Nandi. Corruption, man. I, I'd like to quote Ashish Nandi okay, to Ashish Nandi. Can I quote Ashish Nandi to Ashish Nandi? Ashish mm. Nandi, April 2012. We need a second freedom movement to get rid of corruption and its mm. perpetrators. Ashish Nandi, April 2011, corruption rots the whole system. Ashish Nandi, April 2010, mm. quoted in the Economic Times, is the system that encouraged people to be corrupt. Corruption has spread because of the way polity has spanned out in the last 150 years. The only way is to improve the system to make it more transparent. You have been a very vocal critic of the endemic corruption in our society. Yes. So on, on a platform of a literary festival, you, you are yeah. trying to be rhetorical. You draw in caste. You seem to be justifying corruption as an equalizer in society. Intellectually, argument may be interesting, but only at that level. Hmm. Only as some kind of an intellectual argument, why, why perhaps to stoke, so? stoke a debate on why, a literary why, why, festival why panel, but not so? as a statement of fact. Hmm. Hmm. You see, at, in, in United States, all race riots have been started by colored people in recent years. But no American thinks of taking a revenge by organizing a, a race riot. Uh, no white American thinks that way. Because the idea has got, got into the mind of them that the blacks, because of their past, because of the kind of oppression and exploitation and violence they have seen over uh, two centuries, have... Uh, been at the receiving end of the system no. and because they are rioting partly in reaction to that past that kind of consideration has come and I you hope, say I'm not talking of having separate laws no, no, for, you, the, for the backboard classes I am talking of a public consciousness no, you, you are saying that they should you, have at least 
No, you are saying. Mo, mo, uh, Ashish, uh, get, get us. No, no. Yeah, no. Ashish Nandi, you are actually saying. I, I'm, should I open this up to debate? I actually should open this up to all our panelists. Let's get our panelists Please. in. In your clarification, you say that if a particular kind of corruption exists among the SCs, STs, and OBCs, you have hope for the Indian Republic. My question today is why should corruption be seen yes. as an equalizer, be looked on for hope? Are we a meritocratic society or are we making an argument for greater corruption? Is that a kind of message which Ashish Nandi should have sent out? I'd like to get a first response from Kancha Ilaya. Kancha Ilaya, your response to what Ashish Nandi says here or has said and is also saying on the course of this debate. Well, see, I have been there in that session where Ashish spoke and we have been uh, friends for quite a long time. Uh, I think that uh, Ashish has deployed the word corruption to a section of people who should not have been uh, deployed uh, uh, of that kind of a word. See, take for example, SCST OBCs for 3000 years have been suppressed, oppressed, exploited. They were more or less equal to that of the slaves. Now, how can slaves be corrupt? Now, if we were to say that the upper caste have been corrupt for 3,000 years, established a corrupt system, they are coming into it now, through the same means, that would have been different. Now, this does not mean that, uh, uh, you know, if this legal course is or it should Sir, be arrested. one minute. I, in the morning, no, it's all said no, nothing. Kancha Elayo, Kancha Elayo, would, would you, would you so object? The point is, no, no, Kancha Elayo, would you object if Ashish Nandi had said that most of the corrupt are from the upper caste? Would you object to that? Yeah, that I definitely object because... See, how is he defining corruption? What is the notion of corruption that he is deploying on SCST OBCs? Is he trying to say that SCFC OBCs can come into system only through corruption? Does it mean that he is also defining reservation within the structure of corruption that he is uh, defining? The, that is the only way that majority of the SCFC OBCs would you respond to that? Into the, the democratic system. Ashish, so what is his understanding Ashish, of that? Ashish Nandi, respond to him. You say, and I'm quoting this for our viewers. He says, Ashish Nandi says, quote, it is a fact that most of the corrupt come from the OBCs and the scheduled castes and now increasingly the scheduled tribes. And as long as this is the case, Indian Republic will survive. I leave it to the intelligence of our news, our viewers, uh, on whether Ashish Nandi is actually making a case for corruption. What is the point you are trying to make, Ashish Nandi? Kancha Elias throwing that challenge to you. Please respond to him. Now, I am making, uh, proposing that we pay some attention to the way the system has been exploited by the rich and the powerful. And therefore, those sections of the society which have been pushed to the margin of desperation also have a right to some extent, not fully perhaps, but to some extent have the right to exploit the system no, no, similarly. So you're saying and if today the so Dalits have put, a, put up a, the first unrecognized billionaire, dollar billionaire in India, it, 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 it shows that the Dalits also are... are no, but, but are, Ashish, I mean, Nandi, the, Ashish, Ashish Nandi, is that a... To no, Ashish, Ashish, you know, Arunab, Arunab, let me ask a question straight to Ashish. So, see, Ashish, don't you think that, see, you are a psychologist and socio-psychologist. If you are also bracketing the people who are coming up from the bottom of the society, climbing each ladder with a great difficulty that they too are corrupt, mm -hmm. and in a context of this whole corruption mm -hmm. debate in the nation, Anna Hazare and Kejriwal, all these people are talking about corruption, what would be the impact, psychological impact of these masses who are coming into the system? Don't they, don't they get... No, no, Mr. Kancha Elaya, allow me, allow me to, with all respect to drive the contours of this debate. I like to be direct. I'm not a theoretical person. My question, I, I don't want to over-intellectualize what has been said here. Let other channels do it. My question is simple. Mr. Ashish Nandi, will you say, A. Raja is a Dalit? So all the charges he faces, criminal conspiracy, forgery, prevention of corruption act, are a response to the inequities of Indian society. Would you say if there are alleged financial irregularities by Mayawati, it is a response to the inequities of society. Will you also say that to the prime accused uh, in the 4,000 crore mining scam Madhu Koda, on which Times Now is doing an expose today, hmm. that this is necessary corruption? Hmm. This corruption is necessary. No, Would you say necessary. that? 
because it is not necessary but but it is understa no, I am understandable no necessary i am saying it is it is little bit more understandable than the corruption so understandable of the uh, so you uh, so why are you doing why are you mixing yes, why are you and, uh, mixing uh, so why they, are you mixing caste and corruption i just told you that the three comments of yours which were quoted in the national and international uh, media were in the backdrop of the 2g scam at that point of time you had a different yeah. line now you are saying that what raja has done is understandable no, because of his caste different line i mean I don't get my uh, transcripts of my uh, interviews uh, uh, mailed to me. Otherwise, I would have probably not passed one or two of them because I have always held that this, if, if you read my such a lecture, uh, only given a few months ago, you would have find the same tone there. Uh, this uh, point has been made there. No, it sir, this probably more sophisticated. Well, I, 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 I why link? Similarly, in the Ambedkar lecture given a few months ago, also the same. Uh, sir, my point. I want to get in. I want to get in, Dr. Lata Priya Kumar, Ashish Nandi. You know, you, your, 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 your comments are, are very controversial. Eh? When you are saying that corruption by D. Raja would be understandable on account of his caste, Dr. Lata Kumar, your views on the larger point that have been made by Ashish Nandi, and any question you'd like to ask him. Please. Yeah, first I would uh, deplore the statement made by Ashish Nandi, which was uh, which painted all the SC, ST, and OBCs with the same paintbrush, and uh, it was most uncalled for. And even now, I am not able to comprehend what he is trying to say. Is uh, now after Mr. Elaya said about the uh, rich and the powerful and how the SCs and the STs have been oppressed and suppressed for more than 3,000 years. And now he comes up with the, mm. it is the rich and the powerful and the upper caste who have oppressed and they have been doing this. So I really can't comprehend what he is trying to say, what he is trying to imply. And uh, uh, just as terrorism cannot be uh, painted uh, in the, uh, with the brush of religion and uh, caste, similarly, you cannot paint corruption with the same paintbrush with the other communities. So there are individual cases where I the court is, is taking its... Uh, I, I, I think... So I can't comprehend what Mr. Nandi is I trying to uh, put forth. I do think there is a relationship between social hierarchy and, and corruption. I don't think corruption is a caste neutral uh, phenomenon. I do believe that in the case of those at the bottom of the society, some corruption, at least a large number of small corruption, is a matter of desperation no, you, and survival. Well, I, 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 have, I, I want in to fact, get in... Very great, great soft corner for that. What are the, hmm. what are the means for uh, them to be corrupt? Uh, uh, if they are so way down in the social hierarchy, I mean, uh, do they have the hmm. means to be corrupt uh, at all? They have no means. But, uh, yes, yes, you look at the way in the NREGA in, in, in scheme, that uh, even to get the uh, al a daily allowance, they have to bribe. Is it not corruption? Is it not corruption? That, uh, a daily allowance from where? I do believe that that kind of corruption is the corruption of the desperate uh, from, from the, for the payment so of the So who is being corrupt? Mr. Nandi, please. Who the is being cut up? Money is exactly. Nandi, please but be clear the about it. To pay. Are there the SC, SCs and the oppressed classes? Clear, but they are. The bribe is, bribe, bribe, bribe is being paid by the landless laborers often. And they, they, technically it is also corruption. Well, but you I know, am suggesting no, that that corruption is, we, uh, is actually no, a corruption. It is a survival league. Well, I want survival to, I, I want to, I want to, Ashish, one minute, one minute. One minute, gentlemen, one minute. Kanchayla, one minute, please. Well, I want to go to Mr. Bhaduria. I have one question. We look at the, if we look at the beneficiaries of the coal scam, will we say all the beneficiaries of the coal scam are from the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes? Hmm. What about the CWG scam? What about hmm. Adarsh Kargil for profit? What about the Devas Isro scam? No, no that, I'm, I'm not going into that. No, what I, about... That was not my, no, I am talking why? about corruption. Corruption is body So, Mr. Ashish Nandi, with all respect to you, sir, do, don't you believe hmm. you have handed over hmm. a political hot potato hmm. to a willing set of politicians like hmm. Mr. Bhadoria? and the BSP, who will now want to take political mm. mileage out of it. I mean, at the end of that, you have handed over this issue to the politicians, Mr. Badoria. What is your interest in this and your response uh, to the initial observations of Ashish Nandi, please? This is the BSP responding to Ashish Nandi. Go ahead. See, insofar as my own interest 
there are none but in your party's interests i meant sir let me uh, uh, no uh, even my party's interest it is a debate which has been started by mr ashish nandi and so we have to respond to it we have no access to grind in this no no mr no no mr bhadoria no mr bhadoria no mr bhadoria i give you two issues shocked. today are, no mr bhadoria mr bhadoria one see. minute one minute let me let me present to you two situations please let me complete let, then sir, let me present you sir the economic question. times sir the economic times has been reporting over the last two days picked up by the rest of the media on certain questionable transactions of mayawati's brother now i don't know the exact number but some documents have been so quoted totaling to up to 1 so, minute 757 so crore so 757 to say, crore rupees so you are trying rupees. to say that the entire scheduled caste community i am not saying that no don't try to sir please understand OBC one thing please community. allow me to ask no, my question debating, please allow me to ask debating, my question are you debating the corruption please allow me to ask my question or are you debating the statement made by will you allow me will you i think this i will not be shouted down yes i want you to let me ask my question as no, i said i am not a theoretical that, person one second sir i am sorry but i am not going to do those you know, fuddy duddy theoretical I'm debates on to, corruption I here i i want to i want to ask you a straightforward question also. mr bhadoria one minute my question to you please take please my question do. instead you, there were two issues yes. i have not heard a very detailed point by point rebuttal on the charges about the registrar of companies and the questionable transactions allegedly of mayawati's brother from your party or your party spokespersons but i have seen within hours and minutes a strong response from not just party spokespersons but mayawati herself to ashish nandi therefore my question to you is this is the bsp reacting selectively very eagerly to what ashish nandi has said but with a great sense of detachment and even disinterest when it comes to the allegations of corruption alleged corruption against mayawati's own brother explain this to me first mr badoria okay now there are two que- sides to your question and two points that i have to answer number one the statement made by ashish nandi in jaipur and the other question which you have raised in the present course of debate now the as far as ashish nandi's statement is concerned the entire statement there and here i think there is a continuum to his position that the schedule caste schedule tribes and the obcs are corrupt and they are corrupt because they have been marginalized over thousands of years so they are practicing a bit of corruption so that they can also no get no no no, no i am not saying of i am not saying that in this no, you understood me wrongly no, secondly uh, coming Bhadoria, back to you your understood uh, me wrongly mr badoria mr badoria one minute mr badoria one minute since the protagonist uh, of this debate ashish nandi said i have not said that more sympathetic towards the Uh, people should be more sympathetic towards the corruption or more tolerant of the co- corruption of those who have been exploited and marginalized over the centuries that's what i have said it is not the same see but you have not said it clear it is not the same you have raised there and you are raising now have been we didn't don't have to judge them by the same standard sanjay laya and other members who are there in the debate in so far as the issue which has been raised by mr arnab goswami let me say this on the uh, on all such issues which you are raising they are in the domain of the court and inquiries and sir, these please. have been no sir please don't take, don't take don't take the dip, in, no don't hide and behind the courts in the courts so in, don't hide behind the courts don't hide come behind come on uh, I, there, there there have been a cbi inquiries there have been all kind of inquiries and all these questions in the last 7 8 years have been asked answered in different forums so to just now sir, you bring want this to entire debate sir, on you... the statement of ashish nandi is very erroneous and i think there it no mi- no mr badoria elaborate uh, no no mr badoria but mr badoria with all respect that was not my question my question is simply this bsp you wanted in yeah. one line bsp very happy to talk about ashish nandi bsp extremely unhappy to talk about mayawati's brother no, it's as simple as that we felt hurt it's as simple we, as that sir we we felt selective responses to debate statement was made and he and as uh, the earlier uh, participant in this discussion said that we are hurt because he has tried to paint the entire schedule caste schedule tribe and obc community with the same brush how that is the anguish that is the hurt 
and, and Mr. Ashish Nandi, you have. You have, haven't you, in the course of trying to make a point? Because, you know, I'm, I'm quoting yes, to I, you. Yes, probably. The, you, but you, well, uh, no. you, you, one second. Mr. Mr. Ashish Nandi, you have said it is a fact that most of the corrupt come from OBCs and scheduled castes and now increasingly the scheduled tribes. You have. Because said. I was defining it very broadly, bar 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 yes. I have said it. But if you did the earlier two sentences, the following two sentences, the meaning becomes absolutely clear. Sir, you were talking. In this presentation, in this speech at Jaipur, I was aggressively pro Dalit, pro OBC, and pro Adivasi. So no, no doubt about that. I sir. have always been. Sir, you have said but that most I of the corrupt are from SC, STs, uh, and OBCs. I, I don't, how, don't believe how, that corruption how, is a ca ca caste neutral phenomenon. <coughs> Sir, you have said the most of the corrupt in India are from SC, STs and OBCs. This is as... I don't know uh, what... I have seemingly perhaps. That's okay. Because you, I have not done no data, data work on that. I no, no. formulating things. No, no. You then said... Think along with the others. You, know, you then said that West Bengal has, the, has had the least amount of corruption till the CPM is in power. So, is the, is the West Bengal more corrupt now? No. I said seemingly. That, there I made it clear that CPM uh, was seemingly uh, non-corrupt. No, no. So, one uh, second. One second. Why, 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 why draw it? The style. The, Ashish, acquire, the upper caste style. Ashish Nandi, I ask you something. Mamta Banerjee is not from the uh, lower caste, is she? So, you are saying that because yes, Mamta no. Banerjee is, a, is not from the lower caste, hence West Bengal will continue to be less corrupt. No, no. no. no, no I am taking your argument forward. To, no, I am not saying that. I am saying, no, I am saying that uh, the West Bengal society, West Bengal is a very backward state, I have said it many times, is the most backward state in India because the social revolution that has taken place in other parts of India has not taken place in West Bengal. No, sir, you have said and that, you have said, both. sir, you have said, I want to draw your attention to the fact the that in the last hundred years, nobody from OBC, scheduled caste and backward classes have come to power in West Bengal. It is an absolutely clean state. In other words, you have said, if you keep SC, ST, OBCs no, and me, backward please, classes please, out please, from power, because, yeah. it will continue to be a clean state. There will be no corruption. You no, have drawn a... No, on the contrary. On, on the contrary, because you have kept them in power, therefore you are getting a clean look, look about it. And this is the payment. And in fact, I have gone into record as saying because West Bengal is the most backward state in India. And I believe so because the social revolution has not taken place. If, but if they had taken, if they had allowed that process to work out as in other states, many other states is much better, then the situation would not have looked so neat and clean. As, as, as far as Karchan is goes. One second. Kancha you are raising your hand Kansha there, Kansha but I want to ask Sanjay Roy well before hidden I come to you. Well hidden as subtle. Sa Sanjay Roy, have, have you as an organizer of the Jaipur Literary Festival got intimidated with the responses that you got on this issue? And is that why uh, there was an attempt to distance yourself from what Ashish Nandi said? Because I think the Jaipur Literary Festival largely said these are his personal views, etc. What are your views on what he has said? Arnab, to begin with, you know, if people's sentiments have been hurt, I think we, along with Ashishda, uh, apologize for any for hurting any sentiment. But I've been listening to this conversation. I'd just like to make two or three uh, uh, clarifications and comments. A, Ashishda didn't make a statement. Uh, this was a debate that was happening, and the context of the debate has got lost in, in much of the discussion today. What he, What the debate was actually about was... How do you access power? People like you and me, Arnab, and everybody on that uh, panel, I'm sure, because we've gone to the right schools, because we have the right language, and because, in a sense, we have that power and influence, we are able to access change or whatever we want to do in this particular way. When it comes to the people born on the other side of the track who don't have uh, either access to the right language, no access to power, they have no other alternative yeah but to use money to be able to access what you and I yeah. access on a regular basis. Yeah, so it was in that context that yeah, this So how has the context been lost? How has the context been lost in the... No, no, watch, Sanjoy. How has the context been lost in the course of our debate? You know, what has because unfortunately... The, all, all the, the context, the, the lines that he was stated, which is being taken... The, the line that... I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. But the line that has been taken out of context in the debate, where Ashish Das said, you know, this is what I feel. At the end of the day, Arnab, Ashish Das is a thinker. He's got 40 years of work where he's been 
at the forefront of driving um, uh, you know, the empowerment of a disenfranchised community. It needs to be taken in that I context. completely understand these what you're saying, but one minute, one minute, one minute. Can I ask you... But do these can, debates... No, no, can I ask you, first of all, I don't think the significance of what Ashish Nandi uh, said becomes less or greater had it been a prepared statement or a panel discussion. So, uh, had it been an extempore comment, it doesn't change. Secondly, I was asking you, what is your view on it? Because I, I just want to be sure where you stand on it. I mean, are, there are two alternatives you have. You can stand on a dais and you can say, we are all, you know, sentimentally with Ashish uh, Nandi. We sort of agree with the broad idea of freedom of expression. I, 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 but I'm on this bro. point, do you think Ashish Nandi is right? Or do you think Ashish Nandi is wrong? Arnab, as you know, the festival is a platform for all kinds of comments and, and discussions. What is your view? Ideas. Ashish Das idea is a particular version. What is let your view? Let me just finish. There were people in the audience, for example, can I, let me just finish. There were people in the audience as well as on the panel who objected to what Ashish Das said. Ashish Das statement is his own statement. What is it's your not view? It's festival statement. What the is your view? The festival stands to the right of Ashish Das. No, no, that's all right. You know, that's that all right. Statement Listen, in a Sanjay, place Sanjay, that I'm sure you, I'm expression. sure that uh, you have a view. I, I just want to know what is your view. He's right or he's wrong? You know, unfortunately, in this kind of thing, I don't think there's a right or wrong. Yes, I do not necessarily agree with the fact that only a particular community or a particular disenfranchised caste is responsible for all corruption. Absolutely not. So you I think disagree. Corruption permeates across the system. So you disagree. There with is Ashish an Nandi. issue of governance in this country, of which this may be one symptom. So you disagree is, with Ashish Nandi. Corruption Nandi. is symptomatic. We need to understand the larger issue involved. So and you the larger issue is inequality. So, so you disagree. Why, why aren't we discussing no, why, why the be, inequality? You see, why the be, issue is why inequality, be, why, why, be, why, be, why be squeamish about it? You disagree with Ashish Nandi. Because Ashish Nandi makes yes, a point. Why, why shouldn't he? Yes. He disagrees. I don't disagree, you, I don't disagree with Ashish Nandi's... Um, uh, 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 the context of what Ashish Nandi no, no, has said, nor his argument. I don't necessarily agree with him when he says that it's only for a particular, I mean, when he names a particular so segment, but he was doing that so you, to illustrate his point. So you, no, I, I don't I, think he I'm, was doing that in isolation so, so of that I, point. So so Ashita, please I, correct me uh, if I'm wrong, because I wasn't there. Yes, I right. have only watched yeah, the entire I, all, tape uh, many times, and correct. it's in that context that I'm speaking. So it's all right. You can disagree, Sanjoy. Absolutely. It was only you, to illustrate you can that disagree. point that he said it. You can. And Sudindra Badoria, Kancha Elaya, mm. and, and, and Dr. Lata Priya Kumar, hear this loud and clear. People can disagree. Sanjoy Roy can disagree yeah. with Ashish yes. Nandi. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Ashish Nandi can disagree with both of you Most or certainly. all three of you. That is the right in our democracy. There is, there no, no. Sudindra Badoria, yes. everyone has a there right. freedom of speech. Absolutely. But there freedom is freedom of, of speech enshrined in our constitution. But let me say one thing, that corruption, crime and terrorism cannot be attributed to any social group alone or a religious group or a caste. But he hasn't done that. Group. He so hasn't done that. in that context... No, he hasn't done that. He has not done that. No, but no, Sudhindra Badoria, he has not done that. And let me tell you, no, 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 read and hear. No, no, one minute, Dr. Lata Priya Kumar, Kanchayala, I see three hands go up there. Uh, you, he hasn't done that. He has actually said, he has said that, you know, if, if people like me or Richard Sorabji, he talks about, want to be corrupt, then I will possibly send my son to Harvard or give some fellowship to Oxford. Nobody will think this is corruption. Listen to me, Mr. Badoria. That is not corruption. But when Dalits, tribals and OBCs will be corrupt, it looks corrupt because the corruption will be more obvious. He is saying that for a certain educated elite in our country, corruption is nepotism. Nepotism. It's people like us getting together and saying, let's be nepotistic, let's, let's help each other. So he's not saying that only, only, only the corrupt, only the SCST, OBC are corrupt. Dr. Lata Priya Kumar. He is only saying the nature of you the... You mean to tell me that there is no uh, nepotism? He, 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 he didn't have necessarily brought in the caste. There is no nepotism in other social groups? Absolutely. No, you mean to tell me that there is no nepotism in the upper caste? 
do you mean to tell me there is no nepotism in other uh, no. social groups? Nepotism, if it is there, it is there That's in all exactly. social but don't groups. Know, but I did if mention that. Corruption is there, so it is there in no, all... No, no, one second. One second. I, I don't think... Ashish Nandi's response... Ashish Nandi, yes. The question is coming to you from the BSP. Did you say there is no nepotism other, among other social groups? I, I didn't... Uh, no, no, on the contrary. On the contrary, I said that there is... Uh, that's what my uh, talk with Swarajji was, that he can give my son a fellowship, I can give his daughter a fellowship. That will not look corrupt. Uh, in, uh, I, I said, in fact, there is corruption. There is you know, enormous corruption. But I said that the corruption of the ex exploited and the marginalized should be looked at with more lenience. That's what I said. I'm not sure about this that lenience argument. Dr. Lata, Dr. Lata raised her hand. Kanchaila coming to you. No, no, for, we've got three right. minutes on the debate. One minute. Dr. Lata is taking you on. Yes, Dr. Lata. I would like to ask Mr. Nandi if uh, I have asked about his caste or the Mr. Roy's caste, why has he uh, specifically mentioned the caste over here? I mean, he could say the uh, poor people or something. Why did he mention the caste? Yes, I could have. Only. But I, because I would wanted to... Wanted to uh, did, did, uh, did we uh, ask you when you give your fellowship to your uh, children? Hmm. Do we ask about the caste? It is the haves and the have-nots. I mean, you don't, you don't specifically, you with your 50 uh, years of experience, hurt the sentiments of a, a hmm. marginalized communities like this. I mean, that's, that's very funny. I mean, I, 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 I don't think uh, this deserves an answer. Uh, I mean, I, all 50 years I have been pro-Dalit, pro-OBC uh, and pro uh, Adivas, all my work is there for, for you is to see. Is this what you could come up with after 50 years? I mean, to say that uh, SCSCs and OBCs are corrupt? Are you no, no, I have, said, I have not said that also. I have said that corruption is, is seemingly more in them because the upper caste have so, are used more sophisticated, subtle means and have the resources to protect themselves better than the uh, other uh, backward communities and the backward communities, I don't call them backward also, I, for your sake I'm calling it that. And there, so the uh, corruption of the backward communities is com <laughs> contributes to social equality and humanizes the Indian society and I will be hopeful about the future of the Republic as long as they also can produce occasionally some degree of corruption. Well, I don't, I, you know, completely, I completely don't buy your argument on justification of corruption in some way, but I believe, uh, yes, I, I, I believe as that. one of the, uh. one of the most prominent Again, intellectuals caste, of India, what, what, no, no, what, what you're probably doing, Ashish Nandi, I, I've been a student of sociology, though nowhere uh, to your level of eminence, but you know, what you're doing is you're being intellectually provocative. The question I have for Dr. Kancha Elaya is this, Dr. Kancha Elaya, don't mind this. But are you constantly trying to present some form of victimhood where there is none? Victimhood. You know, Dr. So Ashish I'm Nandi. Not so what, let me complete. Dr. No, Ashish I'm Nandi. Presenting Aruna Dr. Ashish Nandi has been supporting no, reservation for SC, STs and OBCs for the longest time now. Why would he want That's what I said. Why will he what want I to present it in a negative them in a negative light now? And do you believe those who have lunged on this and made this a political issue are trying to project a sense of victimhood? Constant victimhood. No, Arunab, see, uh, 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 on this TV because, channel, because it's because it suits politically. I would politically. Rather request. No, no, no. Uh, on this TV channel, I would request my BSP friend that th th this issue should not go to the legal this thing. We can easily debate, and uh, uh, Ashish Nandi's ideas can be this side, that side. We can change because he has been a friend. But having said this, setting aside the legal issue, setting aside this whole thing. I have two, three questions. The questions are very important with in relation to the masses of scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and OBCs who are trying to push themselves into the system which, will, which put a big wall against them all day long. Now what is this system? When he is talking about West Bengal government which has not implemented either reservation, has not given any specific space within that for the last 37 years when the communist Badralok was ruling, it is Ashish Nandi's duty to say that that was the most morally, legally, politically corrupt government which has set SESTs, OBCs outside. Therefore, nobody could emerge from that state 
which he should have said, which he, I am, I am yet to see from him. The second question is, when he is okay, talking about... Okay, no, no, one minute, one by one, one by one, one by one, three questions. We will ask question one. No, you no, are no, demanding no, no. that Ashish Nandi changes... Po- make, Mr. Nandi, you heard the question. One minute, Mr. Bhadoria, one minute. Ashish Nandi is responding. Yes. Uh, I, I have yes. an, 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 uh, answered him in another context, in another channel. I will say that I have declared West Bengal the most backward state in India, and I do believe that the West Bengal government has bypassed its responsibility by saying exactly what some of you are saying that corruption has no caste basis, and West Bengal there is no caste, so they will fight corruption independently. No, no, but, but do you say that they, they were the most, it you is. use the word most here. They were, yes, they were not corrupt. only most, they were corrupt. I have the greatest said that. corrupt people. I, have, on I have said that both in English. I, I, I have said that in English and in Bengali. So, uh, written in both. So, you have just said the so opposite. I, I have no, 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 Ashish Nandi, you have said that a hmm. hundred years, nobody from OBC's backward caste or scheduled caste came into power. It's an absolutely <coughs> clean state. Yes, they are not allowed. You said it's the an Bengal absolutely has, clean... The Bengalis have not allowed. The hence it is clean. Yes, absolutely. No, no, but it is a clean of OB. No, so therefore, who becomes corrupt? The, uh, Ashish, who discourse. becomes corrupt? You know, tell me. The, the social revolution. No, whom do you oh, use course, the word corrupt? Of course, I am not saying that. Huh? Yes, yes, I grant that. I, that I am not disputed. I am saying, but seemingly, West Bengal seems and the communist leaders don't seem corrupt. Because they are proper bhadwalo. I mean, that's what exactly I am trying to say. No, the second question, you know, Aruna, when, when it came to, you know, the son and daughter going to uh, Oxford or Sorabji ah, and putting it there or with this thing, this is a nuanced uh, kind of argument when it comes to upper caste. But I would expect Ashish to say that these upper castes use corruption in 101 ways. Sir, I think they you're missing the larger point. Kancha Ilaya, Kancha Ilaya, I'm sorry to come in here and contradict you directly. But with some respect, Mm. uh, I think you're missing the larger point, Dr. Elaya. At the literary festival, and Ashish Mm. Nandi, correct me if I'm wrong. At the literary festival, Ashish Nandi agreed with another speaker, I think Tarun Tejpal, on the five level playing fields where discrimination based on caste and religion did not interfere. Corruption was one of them. First four were sports, entertainment, crime and politics. Tarun Tejpal added a fifth which was corruption. So there was a broader discussion going on an inequality in Indian society, which is what Sanjay Roy is looking at you. You are looking at it narrowly. You are looking at it in a narrow way. No, no, no. Arun- Sudhindra Bhadoria no, is looking Arun- at it in a narrow way. See, there's a no, larger... Just a minute. See... So there's a larger discussion. No, no, Arun- just no Do we have a space me. for larger just discussions in me. our country? Mr. No, no, just listen to me. It, Arun Tejpal... Uh, Tarun Tejpal has put that whole thing, corruption, in a debate of utopia and so on, in the context of Anna Hazare corrupt, anti-corruption and so on, and no, no. Ashish agreed there. So, but the point is, when the, the press that, uh, entirely you know, took that context in, 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 in such a way, sir, I, that those lines yeah, but could you, come into the press yeah, because but, but he then, did not then, say the West Bengal Badralok were most but Mr. corrupt. Mr. Bhadoria, if a if section... If only were to say that, no, no, Mr. things would have been clarified. Oh, one second, one second. Yes, La- Dr. Lata he, is saying he, something. He said the haves and the have-nots. Dr. Lata, a bigger argument is being made. Are you going to allow some space yeah, but, for bigger uh, arguments to be made? For larger no, but, context uh, uh, to be established? No, but how can he just bring out the caste? That is what we are worried about and that is what we have in the CAF Commission also are being asked. No, is this political correctness taken about too what far? what action we are going to take when someone insults the caste so like this? what action do you intend to take against Ashish Nandi? You might as well tell him. You might as well tell him I on mean, news uh, article. The chairman, uh, the, the chairman of the National Commission, Dr. Punya, has already sent a uh, notice to the Rajasthan government as to uh, what has uh, action they have taken against this speech. No, but Sudhindra Badodi... Because we what, would like to see the recording. No, what action do you want to... Do you think the corrupt should be punished? It, Sudhindra Badodia, one minute. No, I, it is no, not about the corruption. No, no, who should be punished? not talking about should, the corruption. No, no, who should be it's punished? It's an insult to the community. No, no, who... I take your point, sir. We have, I made... I, I have told... I have... At the risk of sounding... Of, of exceeding my own brief... 
and my own abilities i have i have tried to contradict ashish nandi on where he has probably overstated his case but the point here is this sudindra badore what do you want to do now you want to make an example of ashish nandi you want to gherao him you want to put him in jail we are limiting, uh, Shudin, the, we are limiting ourselves to a, in this debate to a statement which has been made in jaipur if you want to have a larger debate on corruption if you want to have a sociological debate on caste or on social classes it's a different level of debate arnab goswami my friend this is a debate only on a specific issue raised by shri ashish nandi in jaipur and we are responding I, to I, that and you that have a, but but I, I i'll only say one thing me. sudindra bhadore i'll only say one thing listen to my last point put put those who are corrupt in the dock not just those who are talking about the corrupt and i thank kancha elaya dr lata sudindra bhadoria and of course to ashish nandi for joining me on this news our debate Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen thank you